journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here. I saw it online today uh, of a guy rock climbing, free rock climbing. Now, this is the reason why you use a stop, folks. I mean, this boy, I, I know the, I asked several people that have been, they, you know, they do it with rappling hooks and stuff, you know, where they got some safety, but people just have uh, – a danger that they like to do driving fast uh, parachuting whatever it happens to do i've done I've, I've been on a parachute i've done bungee jumping and all that stuff but i want to tell you the scariest i've ever been in my life was in 1978 we were at the grand canyon one of our customers at drexel had given us a beautiful hold on uh, something's beeping and i I hope it's on the good side, and uh, bonds are going a little lower, which is good. Okay, but anyway, what I wanted to mention to you is this. Um, we were uh, – oh, I have to turn this thing off, folks, or it's going to beep forever. Well, I hope it will anyway. Hold on just a second here. What we're looking at here, it was the bonds. They just downticked a little bit. But uh, we were taking a mule ride, and uh, the mule ride on down to Parker Ranch is a mile down. It's a little path with about 10 mules, one person per mule. It's about three feet wide, and it's a winding path. And I, I'm really claustrophobic, uh, uh, agoraphobic. I'm a fear of heights. I really don't like I don't even like looking at this picture. I'm going to get rid of it, as a matter of fact, and get the, get the other charts up so we can see what's going on here. But anyway, what I wanted to mention to you is we got down to Parker's Ranch. I was so emotionally drained. I mean, I really could see... You know, these mules falling over and they're tied together and one goes over, they all go over. Why They don't have that anymore. It's no longer, you can't take a mule rides anymore. They stopped it because of, guess what? A few of the mules went over and killed a bunch of people. So I got down to the Parker Ranch and I, uh, call, I had a helicopter take us, Jill and I, back up to the top because I there was no way I was going back up on those mules. It takes a lot longer going up anyway. Let's get to the markets. Okay, here's what we're looking at here. We talked about the euro. I, we talked about the gold market. Folks, that was a trading pattern in the gold. That's all that was. I don't know if that's the high in gold or not. You can see the move that we've had down. We've dropped 30-some dollars. That's what the, the $32 down from the high. That's the harmonic number right there. That should be good support that we're setting at right now and as you know once you make a new low on this you have to recalculate the 382 pattern and that's what uh, we try to do so you go and you mark your last one and you'll see the 382 comes in here at 67 well at 67 if you look at this this way from your high down to your low you would come up with a nice little pattern right here at 360 to 2367 it looks like it's getting ready to hit there now is where you're going to be getting now if you sell it here at the 60 uh, 382 retracement your stop has got to be above this level right here so that's a ten dollar stop you just about have to use a ten dollar stop folks when you're trading gold and crude oil this is a two hundred and thirty six thousand uh, dollar contract for heaven's sakes you know, that's that's a serious money in anybody's language, you know. <laughs> so let's keep that in mind. Very, very important. Okay, now the next one we're going to look at here is the, uh, let's see, we got to take, we've already looked at the euro. Ah, the soybeans. Here's our November soybeans. Um, they looked like they were trying to break out this morning, but all they do is go back and forth. What we're looking for here on this daily pattern, you'll see this is where we are. We're in this area right here. We've gone sideways for so many days now. Nine days we've gone sideways since the report. Now, they haven't gone up, but they also haven't gone down very much. What we would love to see, and this is something that uh, still is in the ballpark, is if you get a small ABCD pattern like this right down to the old uh, – well, let's just – remember, geometry precedes uh, – excuse me, uh, mathematics precedes geometry – the difference here is 1150 to 1158. I would be buying at 1158 with a stop below here 
which would be about 11 uh, 38 so you got to risk 20 cents to be a farmer in beans uh, 10 cents in corn and 20 cents uh, in the wheat market so this still has a chance uh, to get to this level if you remember the uh, the D December soybean oil that we traded last Friday let's get that up here so we can take a quick look at it we'll get it here on a uh, 30 minute chart because it's been moving to the downside a little bit which is what we wanted to see this is where we bought it right here if you remember we rallied up to that level right there which was our profit objective the market is now heading down and as you can see we're almost and I mean almost to the old ABCD here of this move right here at the 786 at 4808 now just look at this folks this is almost a month now I want to show you how strong soybean oil really is look at that look at that our low was made way back here in February there's nothing bearish about this chart this is a really bullish chart just like gold was you know look at this you go up there was your, your 382 comes in here right where these lows are the last time we had a move right here just go back and check now I, I haven't done this because I'm because I'm doing this on the fly this morning from your low to your high Look at that. The 382 comes in right there. And look, it's one tick. I mean, one tick. Are you joking me? I mean, you can't get any closer than that. That's beautiful. We've got a beautiful Gartley there. Let's just see how close that was to the exact 382. We're going to be going over these in, uh, there it is, right at the 382. Well, misses it by a, a hair. See, <laughs> a hair. It, two, two ticks, folks. Misses by two ticks, and then we have the ABCD to the upside. Good old ABC, always happy to see ABCD, especially when you're looking at intraday charts, which we're going to be doing at on Friday from 9 until 12, hoping to make some money. We would have had a good day today, but uh, that's what we're looking at here right now. Here is oil down at this level. I personally, I'm going to be buying some oil here at 4808. Uh, the main reason is I'm, I'm really bullish oil longer term, as you, you probably know. I sold it really good. You know, I, we saved $1,000 by buying it here. Much better to buy it here than up here. So this is what I'll be looking at. I'm going to buy it around 48.10, and I'm going to risk about $0.30. Cents. It's about $200 is all I'm going to risk because that's all you have to. See, because on the way back, you see the rally that we had today, if you like 382s. If you go, you know, all these years that I did this. I saw 382s. I didn't pay any attention of them until Tom Hugarch, and Tom doesn't use them. He uses something different that is related to 382 strong trending markets, but there it was right there. That was the exact 382 of that. That move today, that's a $400 move if you'd have done that one. So that's the kind of things that we're going to be watching as we look. Now, here's another one that is flat out bullish, folks. Do not think about selling wheat short. Let me show you why. This is wheat here over the, the low we made back here in March. Remember, we tried to buy this at 18. We missed this by two cents. Okay, we did get it bought in here. So I forget. I think it was one of these that we made some nice money on. Then we had the A, B, C, D to the upside. You can see them. There's A, B, C, D right to the upside. There's the other one right here. I'm just They've already done them. There's A, B, C, D right there. A, B, C, D right there. But I want to show you this. If we can get this one right here, let me get this one. We're going to take a break. I'll cover this when we get back. Very important. Well, at least to me. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, 
Mastering Probability is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and I believe we have from the Tiger Den, direct from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, none other than Mr. Z. John, how you doing? Uh, that's that's quite uh, quite a ramp up to introduction. Thank you, Larry. How are you? I I just wrote it out, John. I did that, you know, off the cuff, of course. I'm doing good, buddy. What are you looking at, my friend? You asked us to talk about December corn. Uh, yes, December corn and November beans. Larry, I just wanted to share an observation with you. I don't have any question for you Good. other than to uh, tell a little story about both of these. Uh, first, let me just start with the soybeans. Currently that uh, November, the new crop soybeans that will begin to be planted literally within a week or two's time. Uh, that's somewhere between 11 and 12. And uh, what I wanted to share is this. If, if weather is average or better than average in terms of growing conditions, uh, I want to share with you I will not be shocked if by Labor Day into October, if that contract falls as low as $10 from this eleven fifty area. And the idea sure. has been that wow. production out of Brazil has surged and surged and surged the past 10 years. And if, in fact, we have a, quote-unquote, uh, average or bumper crop, uh, the world could be overwhelmed with soybeans and uh, driving price as low as 10 into Labor Day. So I just wanted to share that just wow. as a... Uh, as a backgrounder, and that is not to say that's a forecast of mine. It is not. Uh, well, I, uh, I just I'm I don't looking know at the what week, Mother Nature yeah. is going to do, 
uh, she's trading and she never tells me what she's up to. And I <laughs> have learned never to uh, uh, go go against what uh, what she's up to. But um, yeah. uh, I just share that number one. Uh, number two, back to corn, Larry. Uh, I'm sorry. We're back at corn. Here we got it. By the way, the weekly target on on, on the beans is 11, uh, 1080. If it makes that eight long term weekly, 1080 is the weekly target. So if it was, if it starts to weaken, you could certainly look at a buck and a half lower on beans, maybe even lower. All right. Uh, uh, back to corn. What I want to share with you is just by way of background. Of course, the corn market has uh, declined dramatically since last October. We bottomed late February, early March. What was going on there was that the farmer had not sold enough of his crop last winter. And we came into a uh, basis trade roll phenomenon, which I won't go into the details thereof. But in effect, the farmer was forced to sell what he hadn't sold uh, during that month of February. And as that roll period came and went, that formed the price low back there end of February. Now we bounced the course. What I uh, will further share is speculators are still massively short corn futures, betting on lower price. And when uh, speculators uh, get uh, lopsidedly short or long, that always sets up the potential for a, a large move in the other direction. And uh, just to share with you, if, in fact, we have some weather scare with planting or early growing season, uh, a rally of another 20 to 40 percent from current price wouldn't be surprising merely on short covering alone, given how short speculators as a group are the corn futures today. And mm -hmm. I posted in the Tiger's Den the December corn futures contract from a year ago, where, in fact, corn prices rallied uh, from, I think it was a early May bottom into a late yep. June top of 25%. Yep. And that was sure. a short covering rally because speculators were too short. And the catalyst a year ago was uh, uh, dryness uh, in the corn belts back um, uh, May into early June. That dryness didn't last. They got rains in the summer. But suffice it to say, there was a good trading opportunity being long. These corn futures uh, merely as speculators were forced to cover shorts. Now, of course, I don't know if that's going to happen this year, but I'm always looking for such possibilities. Wanted to share that with you. John, will you do me a favor? When you do know, will you call us and let us know when you know for sure? <laughs> when I know for sure, I'll, I'll certainly call you. <laughs> Thank you. You have my number, 555-5555. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, yeah, thanks for joining us. Are you are you in Wisconsin or are you uh, uh, in the Midwest somewhere down by uh, Chicago? Where are you these days? I'm in Wisconsin right now. Okay. Well, be safe up there, okay, my friend? Good to talk to you, Larry. You bet. Mr. Z in the dead. All right, let's move on here. I just posted here. This is the long-term weekly. You can see the harmony in corn with the ABCD patterns that were here, folks. But look at this minor rally that we had. We've been rallying for six weeks, and all we've been able to do is go to a 382 retracement of the high that we made in October. This is certainly not bullish yet. What we are assuming here. And believe me, that's a big assumption. This is the daily now. This is going over the last few weeks. This is why you can become a farmer without, you know, buying any land, and you don't have to worry about buying any seed or worry about the weather, uh, insecticides, or any of that stuff. But if you can buy corn seven, eight cents lower here at around 460, okay, you put your stop down here at 450, so you're risking 10 cents. You become a farmer for 100 acres, okay, for $500 American. And if you go back to that weekly chart, and it worked like it did the last time we were in, let's get the weekly up here. See, last year, this was May. Here we're in April. Okay, here's where May. We rallied from $5 to $5.70. It rallied 
$3,500. So you're risking $500 with the potential of $3,500. Now, in my parlance, that's seven to one, and that's pretty darn good. Plus, you don't have to stand in the field and pray for rain. You know, that's a that's another thing that you don't have to worry about. So we're going to have Mike Moore on to talk to us about the uh, crude oil complex, which is very active, as always, along with some of the other things that he watches, which is a lot of fun. I believe we're going to have, uh, I think we have Joe Donato. Oh, uh, tomorrow, on Thursday, we're going to have Rich Anderson. It's Rich's birthday. And he'll be on the show on Thursday, and I believe it's Friday that I'm going to have Joe DiNapoli on, you know, time permitting, if uh, if we certainly can. I've got a few other guests that we haven't had on for a while that are still in the lurk of uh, coming on. So that's what we're watching here. I better check the old clock on the wall. We've got about 45 seconds left. Again, I want to thank everybody for the prayers and white light that you sent out. You know, it, it was uh, very, very helpful. You can never go wrong with prayer, folks. Like they say, when God closes a door, he opens a window. So be safe for the rest of the day and stay with us because we've got Mike Moore of Moore Analytics coming up post-haste. So stay with us. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com.
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I posted, uh, we have a little bit of technical difficulties with Mike so far. As soon as he can get on, we'll be right back. But, you know, he gets real busy in trading sometimes, just like other folks do. They can't be on the show, so that's why. You'll notice here I have an order in to buy this at uh, 4803. Okay, now, folks, I'm only going to risk 40. Uh, 780. That's 20 points or $180, $120. It's $6 a point. So if I get filled there, I don't want it to get any below 47.83. Uh, I'll take that $100 risk. That's that's all I'm going to do. I, you know, I I sold it up here. I mean, I, well, well. Anyway, that that's that's how I'm handling that. I just want to let you know. I when you do short-term trading, and believe me, these short-term things are just no different than the long-term. If you took a look at the long-term daily charts, on these you're going to see the same A B C D patterns. You saw them in corn just a minute ago. Long-term weeklies, nearly perfect. Do they work all the time? Heavens no. But like John says. Uh, nothing works all the time, so that's pretty much it. Now he's he's absolutely correct because if you looked at the uh, that corn chart, it had uh, six weeks and it only make a 382 rally. That in itself is not very good. But by the same token, on the corn, you have a perfect daily Gartley there at uh, the number is 460. Okay, and you put your stop at 450. You can become a farmer for 500 bucks, and if it's right. And it can be because of weather or whatever it happens to be. By golly, then you've got something that you got, you know, going for you. But if we, if you were in the room today, like we're going to be here on Friday, I would be buying this at 4801. That's where I'm going to buy it. It's 4806 right now, and I'm only going to risk 120 dollars. I might even risk less than that because if it doesn't stop right there. I might just turn around and just get out of it and not even risk very much because it's all about risk control here, folks. That's the whole the whole thing. And, you know, uh, I don't know what else to what else to say other than that. It's uh, it gets a little bit of difficulty here as we watch these things unfold every day here. OK, now let's take a look at a couple of uh, foreign currencies that people have asked to talk about. Um, let's do the British pound here because we had a very nice buy signal in the British pound the other day. And I believe it reached its objective. And by golly, you can see it's actually gone above the 382. There was our number right here. It got down to the exact number, which was uh, 2585. We rallied all the way up to uh, 2714. There was your 382 right here. And as you can see here, we went above it today for just a little bit. Now we're back below the 382. So that tells us that, yes, it's still got a little bit of resistance. Now, this is a – you had a three-day rally right here. This was one, two, three, four, five-day rally right here. And it went – looks like it went just about exactly to the 61 percent retracement, and it did, of this move right here. Now – that's okay. Now, there is no ABCD pattern here. You can see if we had an ABCD pattern here, that would have been a perfect Gartley. And again, we don't have that. So you only have one – you can trade off of one factor, of course, especially if it's a you know, mathematical number like 618-786-382-1.27-1.618. You can do those all day long because all you have to do is put your stop in. Remember that rock climbing guy? Folks, I really – when I copy and pasted that so you could see it, I literally I, – <laughs> it really brought back memories of those darn mules. And, uh, oh, my gosh, I, to this day, whenever I see a mule, and believe me, there's a lot of mules and donkeys here in the uh, uh, Tucson area because of all the cowboys and the dude ranches that we have here, that, that flash is in front of me like, oh, you just can't believe it. You know, she's, she's, what, 58 years old now, for God's sake. And she would never do it. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, – well, there was one other story. Oh, we've got a minute here to tell you. We used to go to El Capitan and Yosemite every year to stay at the Awani Hotel, which you had to have reservations a year in advance. Now it's like three years in advance, and it's like $1,000 a night. It's a dude ranch right in the middle of uh, 
Yosemite National Park. And it's, you know, you have to have black tie for dinner. You know, really, really fun to do. And we never do it again. But we did it all the time for the, with four or five years when the kids were little. Anyway, uh, they had uh, hiking uh, things to go on the backside of Yosemite, not up the scale of Yosemite or El Capitan, but go on the backside. So full day ride on the Jeep. And you it's really not an easy ride, but you could go up and get on the top of El Capitan and take pictures and uh i went but i stayed in the jeep i didn't even walk on the top of that darn rock i didn't want anything to do with that so don't invite me to doing it yet i've done bungee jumping i've jumped out of an airplane i've done you know what they call sidekick jumping you know where someone uh, takes you down i did that twice uh what other crazy things have i done another craziest thing that i did that was scary as heck was take a class four river rafting trip for three three days on the snake river in Idaho, oh man, that was—I tell you—that well, that's not—that's not an easy thing to do. Anyway, let's get back. This is the British pound, so that's done. Let's take a look here at another one that's in the news quite a bit. It's Canadian dollar, and then we want to look at also we want to look at the Australian dollar because uh, let's get the Canadian up here, and here's the Canadian. Remember, we had that breakout in the Canadian that failed. You see that? See, we went right up, right above the 1618. All that did during that time was make that A, B, C, D pattern right there, and it's backed off. Now, all, how much is it backed off? Let's just go to an hourly chart. This is what we're going to be doing all day on, uh, well, this would have been a buy. There's your low. There's your high. Your 618 comes within one pip. Of the low, all it's done is rally up a little bit. Not much to do here. Now, if, if I were watching this real closely, I would look for an ABCD on this. But remember, this is an hourly, so this took about a half a day to complete. So I would see if this was going to be an ABCD to the upside. And, uh, well, not too bad. Okay, now let's take a look at the one that really means something if you're going to be in the grain markets, folks. And then we'll do the Japanese yen after we do this one right here. I'm getting a lot of requests for Forex today. Okay, we got to get to that Australian dollar. That's always up at the top. Here's the Australian dollar. We wanted this to start to get bullish. This is what we ended. We're starting to see it now. We did, we did clear above the uh, the breakout line. That's what it was looking at today. We wanted to clear this, so we haven't gone very much uh, above it. But what I the way I would do that if I bought that breakout right here, it's about right where it's trading right now. Let's just go to a smaller time frame. So you can see it really clearly. There it is. There's the breakout would have been right here. See, so you're, it hasn't really gone up very much. Let's clean that out because that's no longer there. This was the breakout area here. And I don't do breakouts very often, but they're good for one reason. That is, look at this. This is an hourly chart. It stays here for a full day and then breaks out. Why not buy that? You know, now you do is you put your stop at break even. If it comes back below it, you know, you get to say hello to your sister, kiss her at Valentine's Day, and move on to the next trade. Don't be like that guy on that rock climbing. I wish I hadn't have done that. Anyway, <laughs> that's that's neither here nor there. Oh, anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed the clips. Everybody in Terre Haute, Indiana, was uh, they went to Calvary Cemetery to watch the, and boy, they really were surprised to see how dark it became. Hey, let's take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. 
All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, it's Memorex time. It's live here. We've got the gold here on a three-minute chart looking at the whole day's action. You notice that we have a Gartley pattern here at 2367, which happens to be, you'll never guess, the 3A2. So the strategy is you sell it at 23.67 and you put your stop here at 23.77. Now, there is the possibility that it could also make the ABC. Let's just try to get this in here, Larry, so we can see it without too much trouble. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg, and that measures to 69. So that's a two, two, two different, two dollar difference. But remember, Isaac Newton, Isaac Newton. <laughs> Einstein, Albert Einstein said that mathematics precedes geometry. You have to go along with that guy because he's pretty smart. But anyway, there's your number here, 2367. We're going to hit it here in just a second. Now, if you can't trade the big gold, trade the mini gold and put your stop above right there. That's a nice pattern. Now, there's one other factor that you want to consider is look at the time here when we rallied this morning. We rallied from 8 o'clock, a little around 8 o'clock. To about, we rallied just about two hours, didn't we? Okay, now if the markets repeat like we think we do, like they, they do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off one of these that we don't need. We only need to see one of these, and we'll put that right there. And then all we're going to do now is to see how long it's been rallying. So you move it over here like this, and there's where the – if this were happening at the exact time right here, that would even give you more impetus as this would be right. In other words, if it takes another – half hour remember this is a three minutes so it's eight or nine bar 20 to 30 minutes long after we're off the air if we're right here that means that the rally in time during this time was just like this and this rally went from 64 to 82 so that's 18 dollars and this would be 11 11 into 18 is 0.618 so that would mean that this rally would be exactly 61 percent of this rally right here at the exact time. That's what Gann talked about when he was squaring price and time. The thing is, you know, he didn't have all this fancy stuff like what we have nowadays. You know, this is it's a lot different. So that's uh, the kind of thing that we'll be talking about over the next uh, time we're going to be doing. I'll be doing two a month. 
uh, every other Friday, so it'll be fun for three hours uh, taking a look at. Now, we need to do one of the main currencies that I missed, and that is the uh, Japanese yen. And here it is right here. This thing is this makes it look like Bitcoin, doesn't it, folks? And folks, don't ask me about Bitcoin because I don't know anything about it. I know it's been really strong. Here is where we are. Uh, this is a long-term daily chart. Folks, I think we're getting something really big getting ready to happen here in the Japanese yen. So keep it on your watch list. There's where we were about back in July. There's where we were here. There's where we're going. Look at this. We're only 100 pips away from where this is supposed to be. So if we look at this, remember this is a daily now. So we're going to put this up like this. Now you're going to see a lot of different things in here. There's drive one. There's drive two, and I think this is drive three that's coming up. Let's just see. Ah, this is a. Well, this was an experiment that didn't uh, instant map that didn't uh, work out the way. It's not too bad, but it's just not uh, as good as we want it to be. Now, just there's your second A B C D pattern coming in here. That completed right there. That means you got two more in here to watch. This is a. This would be like trying to pick a top in the stock market, which is not an easy thing to do. Look at that one right there, and then we got the big daddy rabbit here, which is this last one. That what this is, folks. This is the Ensign map, and it works pretty good. But what happens? It inverts like everything else. So if you inverted this, you'll see that it does do a pretty good job at prick, picking where the trend is going to be, and you'll see that's what we're watching. It looks like the trend should be stopping up here. Within a week. So look, it had the high in here. It had the low in here. It had the low in here. There's nothing wrong with this program. It, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's, it, 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 I just don't use it. <laughs> we might we, we might look at it a little bit more a little bit later. But right now we're just going to take it off so that we don't have to uh, take a look at it here. But there's where we are. Okay. Anyway, this is the number around, let's say, 166. You get 166 in this yen. Look at this on the long-term weekly. The people are going to be going to say, "Oh my God, the world is coming to an end." And well, maybe it will be, but by golly, I don't think it'll be on this one because look how many weeks it's taken to get where we are right now. We've making a new high four weeks ago. We haven't really exploded to the upside. So put that number in. I'm going to put this in right out here. Give me plenty of time because we get there. I have to sell that. Let's look at it on the really long-term monthly. I know it's got to be. Crazy because they well we're we're not even where we back in 07 we got as high as 170 so when you hit the 166 they're going to be yelling and screaming about 170 and it, look at this one here though folks 170 let's go back here to where we were if you liked A B C D's and this is a monthly all right there's your A B leg right here all right there's your C D leg right here you wouldn't want to be buying that monthly breakout would you okay well I'm saying the same thing here. I don't want to buy that one. I want to look to be short around 166. Got to risk about a thousand bucks, which is a point to 167. But boy, if it's right, it's going to catch something like this little puppy, where you go from 145 down to 35 handles. That's 35 thousand dollars. So you're risking a thousand to make 35 thousand. If in fact it uh, it works that way, all right. So let's uh, keep that in mind as we're looking at it. Up, oh, we just got filled here in the old gold here. Let's just take a look at it and see what's going on. All right, we're short the gold, and the stop would be right here at uh, 77. So that's what I have to do. Uh, like I said, it would be perfect if we were right here, but this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, the, 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 we could make this one, but remember, mathematics precedes geometry, and uh, that's what you have to do. You've got to do them one at a time. So... We'll see what happens. I'm going to put this beeper on because we've only got 10 minutes to go here. We shouldn't, if this is any good at all, we should not get any higher than uh, 2372 uh, or something like that. That's probably, if you're trading short sticks, I would definitely put it above the 50%. So instead of risking $10, this is only a three minute chart, put your stop at 372. That would be uh, what I would be uh, watching. Okay. Remember, these only work part of the time as you. Well, no, that looking at these over the years, it says right on my shingle, practice of trading, just like it says practice of medicine. My grandfather used to say that all the time. He said, find the doctor that says on the shingle, I've stopped practicing. I think I've got it right. Good luck with that one. All right, let's move on here to a couple of the other things that we're going to be looking at here very, very shortly. And uh, hold on one second, folks. 
I'll tell you, I was so emotional yesterday because of all the stuff that was going on that uh, had a good day. But, uh, boy, I tell you, I was really uh, – I was under the gun emotionally with all the stuff. Whenever you got somebody that's, you know – sick it's well you you folks know you know it's not an easy gig and you've got to thank god that you're well and happy and you know you know god i'm eight i'm i can't believe i'm this old i'm i can see the ninth furlong folks that's how close i am i've been to the hospital one time i had my appendix out when i was in 1956 when i was uh, 16 and i i did the stupid thing i had my appendix out on friday i played in the game on wednesday and my i split the stitches and Ooh, terrible. Anyway, let's take a break. We've got a trade going on here. Keep your fingers crossed, but do better than that. Say a prayer. Sometimes prayer helps, usually not in trading. We'll take a break, 877-927-6648, and we'll talk about crude oil coming up. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're looking at the gold market. Uh, I wanted to give you a little heads up here. No matter what happens, let's learn from this, because remember, if this cycle is correct, you know, that's not the one we want to look at. Let's get that out of the way. If this cycle right here that we looked at, in other words, the time from the low to the high was equal back here. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. How do I get this little thing to work? There it is. See how it's supposed to top there? If you moved it over here, that's one minute after the hour. 
So if that's the case and it starts down one minute after an hour, folks, that's something that's very, very valuable. That's inter you know that's the stuff that we looked at when we were using that MIPS computer to how often these markets repeat in both price and time. And then at that point, you know, if you start going higher after that point, it tells you that there's something not right. So if time and price both start moving, you can move your stop down to 2370, only risk three dollars, two dollars and a half. Because we sold it to 2367.50. Oh my goodness, it's 2367.20. You've already covered commission and 50. You can buy lunch. That's a joke, folks. I shouldn't joke about trading. Anyway, that's what we'll be watching here uh, today. So keep an eye on that. We'll maybe we'll review that tomorrow to see how well it did. But that's a few things, and it does the same thing on the downside. You know, you can see the same thing happening on the downside. You just have to be prepared. And believe me, look, you're looking at say 10, 12 things during the day. How can you? You can't follow all of them. No, you got to follow the two or three that uh, look halfway decent. You know, that that's really all you can do. That's why in a three-hour period between 9 and 12, which I like, 9 o'clock is right half hour for the opening in New York, you're going to have some pretty good opportunities. You know, that that's really the, the bottom line. So hope you can stay with us on Friday, and uh, it'll be twice a month for several months, I hope. Anyway, that's what we're watching here. So let's uh, move on, and uh, we'll be seeing you again tomorrow, and our guest tomorrow should be Mike Moore. Hopefully we'll get everything corrected with our Skype. We had a problem with uh, his Skype. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.